So here we are at Legacy Park. Connects up with the Stranahan River to the C14 Canal System. I got the kayak all loaded up uh, and ready to go. I'm gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna load into this boat ramp. This is uh, restricted access for small boats only. You get a look at this. This is gonna be some fishing in the backyards of the suburbs here. Welcome to Legacy Park. That's cool, a little bit of history. But this waterway, I expect to catch uh, probably largemouth bass and snakehead. Uh, there's peacock bass in here as well. And you can see it's got, this is in, in, indicative of the entire waterway where it's really high grass, uh, really clear water. So what I'm looking at is fishing topwater frogs and just uh, seeing what happens. We're gonna fish, uh, put in here and head north and see what happens. Real clear water, we're, uh, real, uh, real grassy bottom. So this is gonna be uh a pretty interesting interesting go i've never fished this area before but i've fished in the area before so i kind of know what to expect but i'm going to be tossing top water frogs and see if we can't uh get some snake heads maybe a maybe a large mouth or two i'm shooting the ticket at me snake heads oh yeah i got him that's another good one they love to roll in these weeds, boys. Oh, he got off. Damn it. First things first, we drop the rudder. I'm gonna drop the skeg. Get those dudes out deployed. That's good. Got the Garmin fired up. I'm gonna take this fish pole out. There we go. Lots of wires and cables, unfortunately, to get this setup going. I've got quick draw contours going to fire up on this thing. So one of the things I'm going to do is mark these maps, quick draw contours, start recording, home, go to back to my combo. I like this one here. All right. Let's see what we got going on. And we're off. All right. They got us the first one of the day. Little snakehead, as I suspected. Nice little bullseye snakehead. Little measurement for John Gerhold. There you go, bud. We'll set him back in there. Nice job, buddy. Now, there are some folks who claim that throwing snakehead back in is illegal. And I challenge you, if you think it's illegal, to go ahead and find that law, uh, you know, cite your reference, because I know of nothing. Uh, I haven't seen any rules or regulations that require you to kill snakehead. Um, and for those who say you have to, and that it's illegal, you, you, ought, not, you ought not be uh, speaking out of church. Cite your references, cite your rules and regulations. If you're gonna make a claim like that, then be right, don't be wrong. So I'm going to keep letting my conscience be my guide when it comes to snakehead fishing. You can let yours be your guide and, uh, and we'll all live happily ever after. All right, so here we go. Here's how I'm rigging these dudes again. I know you've probably seen this once or twice, but I'm gonna show you again. I take this owner number two wide gap with this little spring lock here. Make sure your knot is above the spring lock. And all I do is I punch that guy in there and twist it on a couple twists to where the bottom of the lure is facing the, sh the shank. So I'm gonna measure like this. I'm gonna put that dude right there. Roll it through the back. Oh, I missed it. Roll it through the back like that so it's dead center. And you'll see when that fish bites, that lure pops right up like that. So we'll snug that, snug that right back down in its back and there we're, we're ready to rock and roll. So that's what it's gonna look like. Uh, sometimes it lands belly down, sometimes it lands hook down. Um, and if that happens a lot, what I'll do is I'll take and I'll pin that hook 
into the body of the frog. You see right there where now it, it becomes even more weedless, and that's important when you're fishing in the, all these weeds and everything, you don't want to hook, a, hook one of those weeds. That'll turn those fish off uh, pretty good. The only problem is when you pin it like that, sometimes it ruins the shape of the, of the, of the lure and it doesn't swim right. So I'm going to leave it unpinned for the time being, but that's the presentation, and we're going to move along and see if we can't uh, wrestle up another snakehead. Mm, there we go. Yeah, that's a snakehead, all right. John Gerhold, almost up to the first blue marker there. Top water frog. All right, go back in there and get you some. Get you bigger. Take your kid fishing. Woohoo! Fish, fish. This fish that's in here is a beast of a snakehead. God, that is the biggest snakehead I've seen yet. Wow. All right. This is a freaking monster. Look at that dude. That's gonna be a personal best, I guarantee you. Let me get my scale out here. Hope this thing's working. He inhaled that. He inhaled that dude. All right. Let's get away on this dude. That's a seven pound snakehead right there. Holy buckets, would you look at that monster? Big old bullseye snakehead. All right. Let me get a measurement. This hook out first. He inhaled that frog. Wow. He wasn't going nowhere. He was hooked good. All right. Let's get that measurement for John Gerhold. Holy buckets. That's all the way up past the first island. That dude is right to there on the billy stick. Would you look at that fish? All right. Goodness. Look at the teeth on that dude. All right, we're gonna set him back in there. That is a monster of fish. Oh, I tell you to go back in there and get you some, get you bigger, but. It's a big old fish already. Good job, buddy. <laughs> 